Hi there, I'm your teaching artist again. I'm Bruce, Bruce Morrison with Metau Arts Alliance here in Twist, Washington. And um, for our art lesson today, I thought we might draw and paint some mule deer. Uh, they're our local deer and uh, I, this is a hard time of year for them. This is their hung, hungry time when um, it's hard for the deer. It's also hard for our, our trees and bushes out there that they're feeding on. So um, there are a lot of deer around in our lives these days. And so I thought we'd start um, probably painting a, a, a female, a doe mule deer. So get your watercolors, some you know brown, black, and yellow crayons, a pencil, dish of water, you know the drill, and uh, some drawing paper, and we'll get started. Okay, um, let's draw the face of a um, of a doe mule deer looking at us. Okay, this is the classic thing that we see when we see deer um, from their little I'll draw their forehead, but then those big ears, those mule ears, come out. They've kind of got a bend like this and drop down, and they do that on both sides like this and like this. And then their, their head, when, it's, when you're seeing it face on, you'll see those big dark eyes like this. Notice that with the eyes, I, they're sort of round, but they're, uh, they have points on them, one pointing back in the back and one pointing down in the front. So that's the way mule deer eyes and most animals' eyes are. I'm gonna go ahead and color these dark, okay, because they are dark, and it gives you a sense of that intense little gaze of the deer forward. And then they have little black noses, like this, actually fairly big black noses. And um, their mouth, like animals, like all animals, divides like this. And then they have their little chin down there. So their, um, their faces come down from their ears, and then they narrow towards the front. Kind of like that. And if they were to put their head down, their nose would show itself to be quite a bit longer than that. I'm gonna thin this out, because they're, one thing that's kind of signature about the way these deer are is how thin their faces really are when they're looking at you. You see their eyes and their nose and not much else. Kind of like that. I like that better. That ear is a little big. They are big, but they're not that big. Notice how I'm using the eraser and, and kind of finding my way to the form by taking away the parts I don't want. I'm going to hollow out the ear with a little shading. Hollow out this. Shading the, the part that's dark. And then um, they have a long, graceful neck. that comes up from their body down here. We can worry about the body next. Um, okay, well that's good enough. Uh, I'm gonna draw a little one down here from the side, okay? Just to show you how they have this kind of wedge-shaped head from the side. Uh, and their ears stick out. I'm gonna put these ears up like this. And their little, their eyes are right in the middle of their head under their eyebrow like this. Their dark nose, their little chin. That mule deer is going to eat my rose bush, I can tell. Um, okay, so that's a, a mule deer from the side, a doe, and one from the front. And um, turn your paper over or get another piece of paper and we'll draw a buck. Okay, for the buck mule deer, there's those antlers. It's hard to get beyond those antlers, okay? And um, if it, um, they only have their antlers in the fall and in the winter. Uh, they shed their antlers every year. And so, anyway, but they're a big part of what we think of as mule deer. And so the antlers branch. They come up on either side from the head like this and like that, okay? 
And if they're little young deer, they don't go much beyond that. But as they get older, they branch and they become like forked horns, okay? Forked horns are what the hunters call deer that, that only have uh, a fork, two, two tines. But if, if, if you're a hunter and you're lucky enough to find a four point, it would look like this. Notice how the antlers, every time they branch, they have some of the same shape to them in the way that they branch. They branch like this and like this, and like this and like this. Okay, there is a, a pair of mule deer antlers. And then their, their, their ears are actually lo located immediately below the antlers and kind of come up and partially block them. I'm gonna use my eraser to take out some of the base of the antlers. Okay, the, the bucks have their ears like right there and right there. Okay, and then they, of course, they have their, their eyes, their dark eyes, with a little spark of life in them. They're looking at you, paying close attention. They better be. And, um, and then their little black nose, their big black nose down here. And their, their little wedge-shaped face that comes down to their chin down here. And the buck deer, especially in the winter time like this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring these ears in a little bit better. The buck deer have thick necks. That's part of what makes them look big and burly, is there? And that may be too big. Um, it is too big. But they have a a much thicker neck than the, the does do. And a, 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 they kind of puff out their chest in this, this season. Okay, so that's uh, a, a buck mule deer from the front with his antlers. All right, um, let's try drawing a deer from the side and so we can see how its body is. Um, I'll actually start with the head here first. And remember, there's kind of this wedge-shaped head, okay? And a long, graceful neck. I'll make this a doe for now. Um, and its ears coming out like this. That's not a very happy one. When, they, when they're really happy, they put their ears up, when they're happy and interested. When they're not so sure, they, like a lot of animals, they lower their ears. Let's make this a happier deer. As you can almost tell the expression cheers it up when you put the ears up. Um, okay, there's a head, the black nose, no mouth, and then like that. Okay, it comes down into their chest, and their body is, is kind of a long, boxy body like this. Um, and their front legs are quite thin, and so a lot of times when you see them, they almost look like sticks, but they do bend, and they bend forward like this into their hooves. And you might have one, maybe this one here, it's lifting up. Notice when I, I'll go right over these lines and then come back through, take out the, the false lines and um, keep the ones I want. And they, so it can be lifting its foot like that, little black hooves on it, like this and like this. And then the back, back legs are the big, powerful muscles. Deer leap, you know, they bound. In order to do that, they have to have very strong legs. Their back legs bend back, their front legs bend front, frontwards. And so that's kind of a thing. So when they're bounding, they kind of compress like this. So there's maybe another back leg back here as it's walking. And that's pretty good and they have a tail. Um, white tails have a great big white tail. They, they flare up. Mule deers generally carry their tails down. They have a smaller white tail, even though they're, they're called mule deer, not white tails. It has a black tip on it, and it's much smaller. I'm gonna, uh, I like that so well, I'm gonna throw a little watercolor at it, okay? I'm gonna quickly, a little brown. It's 
animals are mostly brown. And so there are some parts I'm going to leave white. I'm going to leave the throat and chest white. But the rest of it, this is pretty dark brown. I should have checked it out before I got into it. But whenever I've got, whenever the color's too dark, I can just thin it out. I'll pull it out like this. Notice I'm, I'm leaving this chest white. Just running the brown paint around. I'm not being too careful right now. I'm just trying to cover my deer. Huh? Something like that. I'm leaving the belly a little bit lighter. Maybe the top of the... And then I can go over. Notice as the brush gets drier, I can add little subtle things to kind of uh, darken and lighten key places. And I'll throw a little black in there because the, um, we need some highlights here. I've already darkened the eye. Put a little dot there. Put a dot on the nose, the black hooves. And the black tip on the tail. That's pretty good. I always like to, it's real, it's kind of easy money when you're drawing to throw a little, little quick wash of blue in the sky. Just enough to let us know it's out there. And a little green mixed with yellow down here to give it some, imagine it's spring. It will be spring someday. And like that. And there's our little deer out for a spring walk. This one made it through the winter. Thanks for, for drawing and painting a deer with me today. I hope you enjoy your dear friends out there on this, in, the, in the dead of winter. We all need friends in the dead of winter. So enjoy yours.